Hey everybody, N6TLU here at D-Lab Electronics. I have a whole bunch of ham transmitters that need to be tested after repair so they can be picked up. I like to send the owners a little one to two minute video so they can see evidence that their transmitter is really working. That's one of the services that D-Lab Electronics provides. So you're going to see a whole bunch of transmitters being tested and at the end, a special surprise. You, this is a test of the Drake T4XB transmitter. So initially I'll tune it up into the dummy load and then we'll monitor the sideband signal on a National 300. All right, we'll go into the tune position. I'll bring the gain up. You can watch the watt meter. The power and I can peak it. Well over 100 watts dead key. My plate, load, getting plenty of output. Now we'll go to sideband. I have my National 300 set up next to me and we'll listen to it. Now we're going to test the sideband operation. I'm monitoring on my National 300. Hello, hello, one, two, three, four, hello, one, two. And six TLU, testing the Drake T4XB. Hello, oh, one, two, one, two, one, two. She sounded pretty good, nice and clear. Even though it's a little Mickey Mousey on my uh, National 300, it's uh, still doing a pretty good job. There we are. One, two, hello, one, two, from N6 TLU. All right, so as I stated, it's a clean unit and comes with the original manual. Following video is a test of a Johnson Valiant transmitter came to the shop with no grid current. Turned out that the problem was the band select switch inside of the VFO. It was putting out the incorrect frequency. The way I found that was to go down to 7 megahertz band, verify the frequency on a counter, and the transmitter worked fine. But when I go back up to the higher frequencies, 10 and 11 meters, the frequency was incorrect. Cleaning the switch, replacing a weak 6CL6 tube, brought the transmitter back to life. So now we're going to give it a test. I'm monitoring on a National 300 receiver. We're at 27.00 megahertz at this point. First, I'll let you hear the audio, then we'll look at the metering. Hello, one, two, three, four. Hello, one, two, hello, hello, hello. Yeah, oh yeah. She's working, and she sounds crystal clear. There's my modulation. <whistles> Plenty of current. Okay, let's take a look at the watt meter and your grid current. All right, first, let's just take a look at the VFO spot function, and you can peak that with your exciter. My drive control is at four. There's plenty of grid drive. I'll go to plate. You can see our watt meter over here. So I don't have it fully loaded up. We're a little under 300 mils. We can give her a little more output if we want. And dip it. So she's dead keen right at 100 watts at 300 mils. Here's the modulation. All kinds of modulation. And it's crystal clear. Transmitter is operating very smoothly. Nice plate dip. Neutralization's right out of the money. Plenty of grid drive. She's good to go. I've saved another Johnson Valiant. This one has had all of the electrolytics in the power supply replaced. The 866 mercury vapor rectifiers are gone, replaced with a set of 3B28s. The Chernobyl resistor in the VFO has been swapped out. Other weak tubes and suspect components have been changed. Controls are clean. She is ready to test. So we're going to listen on the NC300. We're at approximately 3.8 megahertz 80 meter band. So I'll get the Valiant ready and we'll listen to that audio. Okay, we're monitoring on the NC300 80 meter band. I've got the Valiant all tuned up. Got our 8 milliamps of grid. About 300 milliamps of plate. 
Hello, one, two, three, four, and there is the audio. Plenty of modulation on this guy. Oh yeah, plenty of modulation. She's a screamer, guys. All right, let me cut and I'll show you the metering and the power out. I'll key up the transmitter. You can see our power output. Meter position is in grid right now. There's our grid. And there's your plate current. We're a little over 100 watt dead carrier. Plenty of uh, forward modulation. This thing really tunes up nice and smooth. Neutralization is right where she needs to be. And it works great on all bands. This is a super nice Valiant. Now we're testing a Johnson Ranger. This is the Ranger I featured that was purchased at the Chelsea Ham Fest a few months ago. I put about 20 hours work into this little guy, but just look at it. It is gorgeous and it's ready to test. So we're monitoring on the NC300. We're on the 40 meter band at approximately 7.2 megahertz. Let's see what she sounds like. All right, I turned the speaker, so hopefully it doesn't get right into the mic. Hello. Hello, one, two, three, four. Boy, listen to that nice, smooth audio of this Ranger. Hello, one, two. So she's dead keying at about uh, 50 watts, and I'm seeing well over 100 watts of forward modulation. Let me cut to the uh, metering here real quick, and you can check it out. All right, so now we'll uh, get a close-up of this beautiful Ranger, and you can see the metering. So there's our uh, plate right there. Dip it. You can see I'm uh, sitting there about 45 to 50 watts dead carrier. And she'll modulate well over 100. Hello, 1, 2, 1, 2, 1, 2. Plenty of audio gain. There's my static modulator current. And of course our grid. Hello, one, two. Great looking Ranger. So what a super nice Ranger. Finding something like this at a swap meet and repairable is a rarity. This guy got himself a great deal. Now we have a Johnson Viking 2. As you can see, it's provided some years of service, but it's still operational. Okay, the Viking 2 is tuned up on 27.0 megahertz. Let's take a listen to the audio. Hello, one, two, hello, one, two, three, four. <whistles> Plenty of forward modulation to the point where I can get some feedback. So, gotta be a little bit careful there, guys. But she's running great, putting out 100 watts <whistles> and uh, forward modulating to 200 watts. These Viking 2s were known for being the 57 Chevy of Johnson transmitters. This one has lived up to its name. All right, turn down the NC300 so we don't have to deal with all that feedback. But you can see our uh, output on the watt meter. Modulation sitting at 50 milliamps, kicking up to well over 200. A little over uh, 200 milliamps plate. My grid is sitting right on the old red line. What a great running old transmitter. This is Terry N6TLU. I'm testing a Halicrafters SX99 that I recently repaired. So we're going to start at the high band because I have good propagation right now. We'll work our way down. CD band is alive and well. Let's work our way down the dial. Sounds like a little side bander there. Afterward, Demi went around the island warning teenagers of how he'd fallen under partial control by the power. So we're around 16 megahertz. Look at that deflection on the S meter. And then we're good. To Tennessee Temple for Bible training. All right, now we're going to go to band three, which is approximately five to 13 megahertz. Mis amigos, hasta aquí 
nuestra sección deportiva y Silda y Agomino Revelation 9 reveals that demons All right, let's go down to the ham band 40 meters All right, so we got some side banders Got your selectivity. Uh, and you can find it in many places. The great unconformity is it's for about a, almost a billion years of the geologic record. It's working great. Let's go down to band two. Let's see if we got anybody up here in 80. sensitivity pot with a switch and this is a very hard part to find on this receiver but luckily the guy that I'm repairing this for provided that part and then band one of course is broadcast you can't keep that going too long because I get popped from copyright psychology for helping people change their habits and conquer their goals learn more at noon noom.com Technology to use a fancy term. So the other thing that's nice about this receiver, if you want to use a separate transmitter, I added muting. So it has one of my little magic modules in it. So let's assume this is your Dow key relay. You have your transmitter hooked up. Hit your Dow key, mutes the receiver. Very quiet action really adds to the performance of the SX-99, especially if you want to run it with a transmitter. 